We're seeing an increasing number of people fall into financial difficulties at the moment because of the economic climate and rising unemployment. If you're one of these people and you're struggling to keep up with your mortgage payments, or maybe you've already fallen behind with your mortgage payments, the key thing is not to panic. There's loads of help out there, and just because you are behind with your mortgage doesn't mean you're going to lose your home. We just thought we were going to lose our home. We thought that it would have to be auctioned or uh, repossessed or, you know, we just thought that's it, you're on your own. It was a horrible sort of sinking downward spiral and start worrying about, you know, the children and then where you're going to live, if you're going to live, you know, how are you going to afford to live? I mean, just eating and clothing the children was just coming to a point, let alone paying bills and mortgages. So it was quite scary, very scary. But then when we heard about the mortgage rescue, and I contacted the council to find out if we were eligible and we were accepted and it's, you know, it's been fabulous. It's been really helpful. Here are my top tips to avoid you having your home repossessed. Tip number one is to speak to your lender as soon as possible. So if you are struggling to meet your mortgage payments, call your lender, explain the situation and they will do everything they can to help because repossession really is a last resort. Tip number two is go online. As well as being able to get face to face and over the phone advice, there's a wealth of information available on the internet. The government's website, direct.gov.uk forward slash mortgage help, has got loads of information and help and advice for those who are struggling to keep up with their mortgage payments. Tip number three is to look at all your other outgoings to see if there's any way that you can make any cutbacks, whether it's not having a coffee on the way to work, cancelling magazine subscriptions, maybe there's direct debits going out of your account that you'd actually forgotten about. So take a good close look at your bank statement and see if there's any way that you can make any savings. Tip number four is to know your rights. Lenders have to follow what's called a pre-action protocol for anyone who has fallen behind with their mortgage payments and whose home they may be considering to repossess. So find the details of this and make sure that your lender is doing everything it should be doing. We've continued to see a lot of people coming for advice about um, debt problems, especially things like mortgage arrears, fuel arrears, and also problems with credit cards and, and unskilled personal loans. And debt really is a big problem for a lot of people. It has a massive impact on the family. It can impact on relationships and things like that. If you're really, really struggling and you feel that you can't cope anymore, we can take over things for you and act on your behalf, carry out all the negotiations, write to your creditors, phone them, things like that, and that's all for free. In a nutshell, don't ignore the situation, it's not going to go away. Make your mortgage your top priority and if that means paying less towards your un unsecured debts then that's what you have to do. I'd say don't put your head in the sand and don't leave it any longer than you need to. Get, get Contact your local council and find out what help there is because pretending that you can manage on your own if you can't is only going to lead you further down the road. You need to get help, find out what's available, what you can do and you won't feel that sinking feeling especially if you've got kiddies and, and you know you need to make sure they're all right don't we yes